Hey guys, good evening, afternoon. It's like 4.45, so I think that's afternoon. Um, I've been doing such a horrible job of vlogging lately. I blame the fact that we're still at my parents' house and I don't really feel comfortable like vlogging when everybody else is around. Especially my mom, she's like, doesn't want to be on camera. So I haven't been vlogging as much. Today was a really busy day. Um, Grayson had his dentist appointment. So I took a video. I will input that here. They have a new kid the and dentist. Tongue. And Grayson's watching Encanto. What do you think Encanto's gift be? What will his gift be? He loves that movie. <laughs> Um, they were actually able to get x-rays this time. This was the first time they were able to do x-rays. I was kind of not sure how it was going to go because Grayson is such like a wiggly guy. And of course you have to stay very still to get x-rays. But the tech was really good and she was able to get pictures of his teeth. They have Disney Plus on their TV. So the kids lay down and there's a TV above them. And Grayson and Porter are obsessed with Encanto. So of course he watched that and loved it. So yeah, that was really cool. He loved watching Kanto. He was like belting out all the songs. It was so funny, but he did really, really well. Unfortunately, and I'm just shocked at this, he has two cavities. These are his first cavities. And I'm like a four-year-old, a four-year-old has cavities. They're in between his teeth. It's like two teeth right next to each other. I think they're on the top. And it's just like one on one and one on the other that touch each other. There's just a cavity affecting, like in the middle affecting both of them. I'm just like, ugh. like, I don't have the best teeth, but I didn't get cavities till I was like, I don't know, middle school, high school. I never got them this young. He must just have really bad teeth. And we brush like every night, but I have not been flossing. They told me to do it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's a kid. He's got baby teeth. Like how, how much do I really need to do? Well, apparently I needed to do it more because he's got cavities. So I was just really bummed to hear that. I feel like a bad parent, <laughs> like my kid got cavities. So I went straight to the store after that appointment and I got two packs of flossers. So we will be flossing every night now because they said there's more that are like warning, like they're watching them. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I scheduled him an appointment to go and get the cavities fixed a week from today. It's such a bummer. I'm gonna have to take Porter with me and hold him and play a show. It's just gonna be a hot mess, but. It's good. We need to get it done. It's going to cost like $300 um, after insurance. So that's great. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But I guess like, I don't know if this place is like really fancy or technology has changed or what. But like they said they don't have to like do a shot and like numb him. They have this machine where it just like they use laughing gas to calm the kid down. And then they have this machine that just like numbs the tooth like it's a laser and it numbs the tooth and then they can just work. So at the end, he'll like walk out of the dentist and like not have a numb mouth. I'm like, what? How is that a thing? So we're going to go and get that done in a week. I'm super bummed about that. Um, I'm just going to have to be a lot better at brushing his teeth because I guess he's got not so great teeth. I don't feel like like we eat that much junk, but maybe we do. I don't know. It's so hard to know. So anyway, that was a bummer, but at least um, we know and they were able to take the x-ray because we wouldn't have known had they didn't. Also, I told them that Grayson is still sucking his fingers. Um, I feel like it's actually gotten worse. I think it's because we're like in between homes and it's kind of stressful on the kids. Um, and they said it's not affecting his bite yet, so not too much of concern. But they said if I did want to do something about it, I guess there's nail polish that you can buy like off Amazon. They gave me the brand uh, Mavala, I guess is what it's called. And uh, I guess you can get off Amazon and you just put it on all 10 nails. Um, I guess several times a day, I guess once it wears off, I guess it tastes really nasty. And you do have, but you have to do it for three weeks, three weeks straight. So I'm like, okay, well, let me like get settled into the house and get figured out. And then maybe we'll work on the nail polish and stuff. So um, I'm going to try that in a couple weeks and see if it helps. I will let you guys know. Um, but after that, um, we went to the grocery store and we went and bought things for the new house. I 
have a clip of the boy seeing the house for the first time and I will put that in or I maybe already put it in a different video. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how all these videos are going to go because um, I'm just kind of sporadically vlogging. So sorry about that. They will go back to normal once we move into the house. We went to the grocery store, got all new groceries because our new house is like bare, of course. And so um, we got that went to the new house and unloaded them all, put them in our fridge, put them in our pantry. We actually have a pantry now. I'm so excited. At our old house, we didn't have a pantry. We just used like cabinets. And so now we have an actual pantry and I'm so pumped. Um, and the fridge is like 2018, so it's new and nice and fancy. I gotta like figure out all the like features of it. Um, and then we left that house. We went to our old house. We're still having showings on it. No, we have not sold our house yet, unfortunately. We've had tons of showings, but no offers yet. But we are hoping, hoping maybe this weekend it will be the time that we sell it. Because um, we're really tired of turning on the lights, worrying about showings, worrying about interest rates hiking, and we just want to be done with it. So we're hoping... As an anniversary gift, which our anniversary is on Saturday, we're hoping somebody puts an offer in and a, a decent offer. So I'll keep you guys updated, but as of right now, um, yeah, no house bids. We are still at my parents' house, as you can probably see behind me. It's not recognizable. We're at my parents' house. I'm actually cooking the boys' macaroni and cheese for dinner. Probably not the best, but I've had such a crazy day, I just can't even... I can't even muster up like the energy to do anything else. So, and Porter absolutely loves mac and cheese, which is funny because Gray like does not care for it. Um, but anyway, we are at my parents. We're still at my parents' house. This is our last night at my parents' house. Starting tomorrow, we move to the new house and we stay there. Um, we were going to move in today, but then we realized we didn't put in to have internet started until tomorrow and Anthony works from home. So we're just going to wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get the internet and then we will move in and we will sleep there tomorrow. Unfortunately, because our house has not sold, we are leaving all of our furniture at our old house to keep it staged. And so we're not bringing any furniture to the new house. So it looks very empty and echoey. And we're gonna have to sleep on air mattresses until we sell our house. So that's not gonna be fun, but you do what you do. I'll be, Anthony and I will share air mattress. They have a little one for Gray, my parents do, um, that he will sleep on and then Porter will sleep in the pack and play, which he's been sleeping for like a month now. So we're just gonna make do. Um, we found, we are gonna get a new couch for the new house. We found the couch. However, we don't want to buy it until we sell or at least our contingent or like pass the inspection on our old house. So we're kind of just like still in this limbo, but not as much because we can actually like live at our new house. So I'll definitely probably tomorrow I'll do an empty house tour for you guys and show you because I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm so excited for this house. It is such an upgrade, you guys. I mean, it's just amazing. It's so nice. It's newer more updates bigger it's just amazing i can't wait to show you guys but um yeah i'm just trying to like catch you up on everything that's been going on but i guess it really hasn't been too much it's just every night anthony and i have been going to the old house packing things up taking it to the new house unloading and going back and vice versa so trying to get as much out of the old house as we can while still keeping it staged so it's a lot of like taking all the clothes from the closet or taking things out of the cabinets that people aren't really looking at. So anything that you can see without opening something, like we're probably gonna leave to make it stage, but anything like that's inside of something, we're gonna try and box up and take. So it's just been a busy couple days. I'm really tired of all this stress. And of course, once we get like everything out of our old house, we then of course have to unpack it and put it away and find a spot for it in the new house. So it's just like never ending. And then of course we have like some projects we wanna do in the new house. So how soon do we get to those? I don't know. And then of course, you know, I've got Porter's birthday coming up. He will turn two September 14th. So it's a little more than a month away. So it's like, I gotta start thinking about a cake and a theme and a party and a day and oh, so much to do. Also, I'm going on a vacation with my mom to Vegas in a couple weeks. So, there, like, life is just so busy right now, you guys. But I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Once we get to the new house, I plan to, like, do whole days again instead of, like, these, these random spurts. 
because I know they're like very hard to watch and I'm sure future me is having a very hard time piecing it together and editing it. So I'm so sorry, you guys. I hope you guys are having a much more relaxing summer than I am. This has been the most stressful, crazy, busy summer I've ever had, I feel like. I could be wrong, but... I keep telling Anthony, like, this whole house the searching, buying, selling process is probably the hardest thing in our marriage that we've gone through. And he tells me he thinks having Grayson um, as a newborn and, like, birthing him and having a newborn and all that, that adjustment, he thinks that was the hardest time of our marriage. So it's funny to see the different perspective, but uh, overall... It's been very hard. <laughs> we are ready for it to be done. So please send us good thoughts. We have a couple showings coming up. So please send us good thoughts that our house will be contingent by the time the weekend is over. Oh, I hope, I hope. <laughs>